John here guys and today we're talking about the toolkit RCM6D AC charger. This is the hottest new dual ports two channel charger out on the marketplace. Now why is that significant guys? Because a lot of you guys may be tempted to parallel charge. Now parallel charge can be a convenient way to charge multiple batteries at a time if done safely, but you have to really pay attention to make sure all of those cells are balanced or there could be a huge fire hazard in addition to risking your charger and all of your expensive batteries. Well, one way to avoid that is to simply get a charger that has two channels in here that are totally independent so that way you're not connecting two batteries to each other they're being charged independently and they can balance on their own now of course you always want to charge safely inside some sort of a metal container inside a fireproof bag or something like that and this is the latest charger on the market that has an internal power supply that's right it is not huge. It's fairly portable, can fit in the palm of my hand, although it's a little bit big. Now, the elephant in the room that everyone's gonna want to know is how does it compare to the current king of hobby charging, the Hota? So here you go, size comparison of these. You got the Toolkit RC. See, it is quite a bit thinner. But it is also a bit longer as well. Here's the little brother to the Toolkit right here, which I actually do like quite a bit. I prefer this little roller actually quite a bit, which is the same roller that you find on here. Navigation is very similar to the ISDT or HOTA line of chargers. Uh, I would probably say this is still the gold standard, but if you have been burnt, literally, because mine burnt, um, and you want to try something new this is the new hottest one on the market d6 pro now as you can see this charger is a little bit smaller vertically a little bit wider there and then it's about just as deep now this has a couple of features that are nice one i do like that both of the buttons are on the same side so you don't have to kind of operate it like a gaming controller uh, i do like that the profile is a little bit lower I do like that it has a USB-C output so you can charge any of your USB devices pretty fast with this thing. Of course, they both have a fan on board. Now, one thing that the Hota has going for it is that it also has a regular USB style output right here that can output five volts, you can charge stuff like that. And of course, the uh, notable feature is that the Hota has a um, inductive charging service on top that you can charge a cell phone with or your AirPods or anything else that can do inductive charging. That is an omission on, and the Toolkit RC M6D is also about $30 more expensive, but the Hota is frequently out of stock and it's not impervious. I do think that this is probably one of the best chargers on the market, but one of mine, I did have two, one of mine died and Hota's being kind of a real asshole about uh, replacing one, they basically told me that uh, they would fix it for me, but I gotta ship it to China. And then when they fix it, I gotta pay them to ship it back to me. And they're thinking it's gonna cost 20 to $30 each way. They offered me no type of RMA tracking information or anything, uh, which is a little bit suspect. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. So I was ready to try something else. And this is pretty much offer, operating flawlessly. I do like that this has a larger, more legible screen on here. Uh, it's a little bit nicer to look at and hold in the hand compared to the Hota. Uh, but there is a couple of features missing. Now, one issue that I had was I noticed that on channel number two, it would charge the six cell on a six cell battery faster than all the other ones. So they would get slightly out of balance. I brought this up to Toolkit and there is a calibration step that you may need to go through to calibrate each of your cells. You can do it pretty easily with a multimeter. I'll leave the instructions for that down below. So if you get one of these and it has that, it's super easy to fix, guys. Don't worry about it. I wish they kind of had done that from the factory. Um, I've never had to do that with any other hobby charger I've owned, but it was a pretty easy fix. It didn't take any time at all. So what do you think in the comments, guys? Uh, are you ready for a new charger? 
I've been having pretty good luck with the toolkit. I like the smaller M8 version of the toolkit better than the smaller ISTT. Now here's the real test. The real test is which one do I reach for first? If I have both sitting there, which one do I reach for? And I can't lie, I've actually still been reaching for the Hota a little bit more frequently. And one of the reasons why is muscle memory. This one holds the balance connector um, upside down, whereas the Holta rolls it up right side up. The XT60 is facing to the left on here. It's facing to the right on Hota. So it's not right or wrong. The main reason I've been switching it is just because my muscle memory wants to plug it in one way. So I always go to the Hota first. Then if I'm already charging two and I want to charge two more, then I go to this one. Uh, I did notice on the smaller charger, I actually reached for that one, the um, Toolkit RC, before I reached for the small ISDT one. So uh, go figure that one. It's really nice to have competition in this charging market. I don't like when one company gets a little bit too dominant because then you get stuff like that where their customer service doesn't really want to help you out very much and there's no U.S. Um, supplies for this. I have always found Toolkit RC pretty responsive. So if you're looking for another charger, you're tired of Hota, you know, this could be a good option. Thanks guys.